file sharing provides sharing and grouping of data files over the network from one computer to another computer we can able to share the resources lan stands for local area network whereas in this network it covers small geographical area when you come on lan the total data rate of at least several mbps welcome back to one and all myself vasanta lecturer in computer science vidya ashram pre university college temple of excellence mysore today we want to start with the first session of networking concept whereas in the annual exam from this chapter you will get totally four question in part e two question for one marks and in part b one question for two marks and in part d one question for five marks here two marks here also two marks but here five marks totally nine marks you will get from this chapter in the annual exam totally from this chapter you will get four question but in part a itself you will get two question whereas on today's class you will come to know regarding the introduction to network what do you mean by network how exactly here the network will work then networking goals what is the agendas the aim of the networking then why we need of networking what is the main purpose of networking under that types of network there local area network wide area network metropolitan area network then the difference between lan and as well as wan you will come to know in today's session first we'll discuss about network what do you mean by network why we require this network this network helps to communicate or share the resources from one system to another system it helps for communication purpose then a network a computer network is a interconnection of autonomous computer it is a connection of several computers consider this is system 1 system 2 system 3 like that we have several systems all the systems can be connected here where it may be it may be in office or it may be in building factories and computer lab there all the computers are interconnected with each other in such a way that they can able to share their resources their files data mails everything they can able to share here that means it is a interconnection of autonomous computer but when you come on especially here the networking goals which are the major goals here under that resource sharing from one system to another system we can able to share the resource where resource may be files data memo anything we can able to share the resource here the aim is to make all the programs data peripherals available to any one on the network irrespective of physical location of the resource and the user especially here resource can be shared here then the next one is reliability a file can have copies on two or three different machines so if any one of them is unavailable the other copies could be used for example in one system consider the same data is present in three systems for example in one system the same data whatever data we have that data is deleted then from another system whenever we required that data can be taken back here we can take a copy of that for example it is used in military banking many other applications it is used here mainly for sharing the resource if the original copy is deleted then we can take one more copy from another system then cost factor wise also it is very less personal computers have better price performance ratio than micro computer so it is better to have personal computers one per user with the data stored in one shared file server machine that means nowadays the cost of computers are very less we can purchase a personal computer that is pc we can able to purchase and we can able to transfer our data files everything from one personal computer to another personal computer and communication medium using a network it is possible for managers working for apart to 
prepare financial reports of the company. The changes at one end can be immediately noticed at the other end and hence it is speed up of cooperation among them here. It means that it helps to communicate with each other. These are the major goals of network. Next we will move on why we need this networking. What is the major purpose of using this network? That is file sharing provides sharing and grouping of data files over the network. From one computer to another computer we can able to share the resources. Print sharing of computers, resources such as hard disk and printer etc. Consider we have several systems. Consider we have here three systems. All the three systems are connected to only single printer. With the help of networking, we can able to take the printout here. That means resource can be shared here. Here the resource is nothing but here printers can be shared here. Email tools for communication with the email address. From one computer to another computer, we can send the mail here. And here we can able to perform email operation. While sending email, I can send audio, video, text, documents, everything we can able to send here. Remote access, able to access data and information around the global. We can able to set in one system and we can able to access the data which is present in another system here. That is, remote access is possible here. Sharing database. What do you mean by database? Database is nothing but collection of related tables. Here we can able to share the database to multiple users at the same time by ensuring the integrity here. These are the major needs of networking. Next we will move on the types of network. When they come on types of network, there are three types. One is local area network wide area network and one more is metropolitan area network. There are three types that is LAN, WAN and one more is MAN. LAN stands for local area network whereas in this network it covers small geographical area. Especially in LAN it covers small geographical area and here it can able to transfer the data within some limited area only. For example within the building. On that building from one floor to another floor we can able to communicate or within the boundary whatever boundary we have within that limited area only we can able to transfer the data here and when we come on wide area network the name itself suggesting that wide area it covers large geographical area whereas in LAN it covers small geographical area whereas in WAN it covers large geographical area. That means from one country to another country we can able to communicate here. From one place to another place, from one country to another country, large geographical area it will cover. But when you come on metropolitan area network, it is in between LAN and WAN. It is in between LAN and WAN. For example, from one city to another city, we can able to transfer the data here. Now, one by one we'll discuss. First, we'll discuss on local area network. What exactly this local area network? Small computer networks that are confined to a localized area are known as local area network. For example, an office or within a building or within a factory or within the computer lab, we can able to transact the data here. LAN user can share data here. Information, programs, printers, hard disk, modems, etc. They can able to share here. Consider in the lab we have around 30 systems. All the 30 systems are connected to single printer. Then we are using LAN concept that means we can able to transfer the data from one system to another system. But mainly here it will cover small geographical area only. Computer connected to the file server are called as workstation. Whichever computers are connected to network, internet can be called as workstation. Whereas in this diagram if you observe here, it all systems can be called as workstation because they all are connected to networking here. The workstation may have additional software on their hard drives also. Whichever system are connected to network are called as workstation whereas in local area network 
Here, we can able to transfer the data within small geographical area only. But when we come on wide area network, the name itself suggesting wide area, large area it will cover from one country to another country, we can able to transfer the data here. Whereas the network speeds across the countries are known as WAN, wide area network, large geographical area from one country to another country. Wide area network is a group of computers that are separated by large distance and tied together here. Large area it will cover and large distance is there and they are connected together with the network concept. It can even be a group of LANs that are spread across several locations and connected together to look like one big LAN format. Consider we have in one country one lab, another country we have the lab, another country one more lab, then we can able to communicate here. If you observe this picture, then you will come to know that wide area network will cover large geographical area. Now is it clear? Next, we will move on metropolitan area network. What exactly this metropolitan area network? This network is in between LAN and WAN. It means that it covers small area as well as large area also, not like WAN. Whereas here it is in between LAN and WAN. Whereas metropolitan area networks are the network spread over a city from one city to another city we can able to connect here for example cable tv networks all this will be example for metropolitan area network the purpose of man is also the sharing of hardware and software resources among its users if you observe this picture here we can able to transfer our data from one city to another city from one place to another place also here not only small area it is larger area only but not more than few kilometers here now is it clear this is regarding metropolitan area network next we'll discuss about the difference between lan and wan when I come on LAN, the main difference first itself, local area network, this is wide area network. Here, diameters are not more than few meters here. But if you come on metropolitan area, few kilometers there we are taking. Whereas here, in LAN, only few meters within the building, within the compound or within some particular area only, we can able to transact here. We can able to transfer our information from one system to another system. But when they come on WAN spans entire countries from one country to another country we can able to transfer the resources here and when they come on LAN the total data rate of at least several Mbps whereas here data rate less than 1 Mbps. Next when you come on the next difference complete ownership by a single organization for example within the building if I'm going to consider only one organization will control all the transaction there only one person one main in charge person will control all the transaction or I'm going to consider if I'm going to consider one campus within that campus only we can able to transact our information that means it's a single owner transaction format only one person will in charge for all the transaction they will going to give the permission to access everything complete ownership by a single organization but here owned by multiple organization because already i told you here wide area means large area from one country to another country then here more than one organization is considered here then the next difference between lan and wan is very low error rates because only small area then transaction is also very less that's why here error rate is also very less what do you mean by error the mistakes or problems which are arising that are very less here but when you come on one comparatively higher error rates higher error rates will be more here and this is a major difference between lan and wan then on today's class you come to know regarding what do you mean by networking under that networking, what are the major networking is nothing but it is an interconnection of autonomous computer. Then which are the networking goals? Then what is the need of using networking? 
Then with that, different types of network, that is local area, wide area, metropolitan area. Then in local area, it covers small geographical area. In van, wide area it will cover, whereas in metropolitan area, it covers, it is in between LAN and WAN, then the difference between LAN as well as WAN, whereas in the next class, you will come to know regarding which are the different types of network you have studied, then what do you mean by topology? Topology is nothing but the physical arrangement, how exactly the computers are arranged, especially workstation, networking computers, how they are arranged, whether it may be in star format, star topology, mesh topology, ring topology, then graph topology, how exactly the transaction will perform in star, ring, bus, mesh topology, what are the advantages of bus topology, ring topology, mesh topology, graph topology, as well as disadvantages of that. Then what do you mean by ITCP model? How exactly this will work? What do you mean by workstation? How exactly this workstation will work? Whereas when you come on network, it is a connection of autonomous computer. That means each computer have the capable to perform their own transaction. They can be able to send the data from one computer to another computer that you come to know. But why we need this and how exactly one computers are connected to another computers, whether it is in the format of Wi-Fi format or through wiring format, how exactly it is connected, how exactly the data will transfer, which are the different modes to transfer the data, then what do you mean by communication modes, that is simplex mode, off duplex, full duplex, how exactly the simplex mode will work, off duplex will work, as well as full duplex will work, how exactly data will transfer from one computer to another computer, which are the methodologies it will use us regarding that, you will come to know in the next session. Thank you for all of you.